because the whole deal was to steal your money and then to kill you off yes 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 i i just you know we were talking about this earlier today and um with regard to all of the major so-called corporations that people think are independent corporations mm -hmm. that exist that are shutting down now mm -hmm. the covid and the virus is being blamed for many many cover. country um, companies going under but it's the truth be told many of these companies were going under anyway because exactly. of the trade windows and they're frozen up frozen up and they weren't able to we up right now let's look at this look look how it operates here in north america uh, let's go back to say uh, during the time of say like um, the CEO uh, Richard Nixon, as an example, um, head of the corporation. Uh, about that time, keep in mind, uh, uh, and people are familiar uh, at North America. Um, as you travel, you see a lot of old warehouses that are empty and others of them being claimed by developers and made into apartments and condos mm -hmm. you got to understand what you've been looking at it used to be whereas businesses uh when they were accepted and they didn't the people around the planet were still under the uh influence or what you might say the oppression the mercenary oppression of u.s corporation operations which is why they kept what you would call military bases in, in 189 countries average more etc in order to force the uh peoples around the world to accept the u.s corporate private commercial paper of the jesuit order of the federal reserve which is a debt note so that they could steal their gold this has much to do with the bush family and their operations at uh the empire state when they dropped those buildings and said that muslims did it uh to steal germany's gold at that particular time and of course that created a little bit of problem between uh germany and the united states corporation operators because they're allies etc uh when they told their agents to uh to get lost when they came to check on their gold and uh, so they created a whole false story around that, which they uh, often do. They'll do things and say somebody else did it, and they've been getting away with it. Um, not unlike what they did in Boston uh, when the um, when the British subjects got upset with the Crown, and they threw that tea over in the harbor at uh, in Boston. And what they did, they put charcoal on their face, and then said that the um, that the Renapi Moors did it, et cetera. They'll call it Renapis. They'll call us uh, so Lenin Lenape. It's not Lena Lenape, it's Renapi Moors. Um, and say that we did it. And then they called us engines. Say the engines threw the tea overboard. Well, that pattern they've been using ever since around the world. As an example, they would go in the name of another country or they'll set up an operation in another country from one of their military bases do something to another country while robbing another country and then blame another country then start a war then fund both sides and then pick up the spoils and they've been doing this well the nations have finally i don't think it's they didn't catch on they knew it was going on anyway but most of your um leaders in most of these countries were puppets anyway and members of the roman curia and this is a lot of what you see going on today in the world that that the public is not exactly up on yet and a lot of things that are going on in the background that you'll get news of probably at the beginning of the years when you find out that it's a lot of uh, political leaders and politicians and uh, entertainers and hollywood stars and a lot of people that you're used to you're going to find out that are not on this planet anymore um the details of which will not be generally told to you right now but that will be told to you later